Your trash is my pleasure. That's my claim. I came to New York to study graphic design from Zurich, Switzerland, and I graduated and was hired by a record company right off the bat out of school. Started working for a jazz label at first, and then I moved on to like major labels. They gave me work designing for Rage Against the Machine, Tony Bennett, um, Michael Jackson, Depeche Mode, was nominated for Grammys for design, recording packaging. And it was a very good time, it was very creative until the record industry collapsed. Um, and then marketing started to take over and uh, it had nothing to do with design anymore. It was more about where can we cut costs and uh, it became a very unsatisfying experience to work that way. So the only thing that kind of kept me interested was like I would find those pieces of paper from peeling posters on the street and I started to collect them mostly also because of the design aspect of it because I was interested in the typography and the imagery and at some point going through the process of yeah becoming much more of a corporate servant I really had the urge to become creative again and I saw those pieces of paper and I was like, maybe I should do a composition with those. And uh, I started to really feel like the need to have like tactile experiences with what I do and not be an IT behind a computer. I wanted to use glue. I wanted to, uh, yeah, get dirty. Uh, <laughs> it just opened up this new world for me where I felt like I can actually live off of this and not have to you know, respond to the corporate masters. And that allowed me a lot of freedom to just start exploring. I started painting as pretty much a natural progression out of doing collages. A very good friend of mine, established fine artist, kept asking me and pushing me to do a collaboration with him based on my collages and his painting. And I was like, I like this. And I started painting then too. And we did more and more work together and we've been producing a large amount of work together. Uh, we exhibited at Art Basel and now international shows are popping up for me and uh, it kind of legitimizes what I do and it affords me all the freedom that I need to be creative again. And that's the journey I've been on.